Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I want to show you guys some ways to use the rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. I promise you they are so easy to use and there are so many different ways you can use them. So let's get into the video. Hi, watch mom's videos. Videos. Watch, watch Kristen's videos. Video. Video. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. This first DIY, I'll be using one of these wood hanging door signs, and I'm just gonna be grabbing some painter's tape just because I'm gonna be painting the center only. This is called In the Navy Paint, and this is by Dixie Bell. I absolutely love Dixie Bell normally to paint furniture, but I love this navy color. It is like a true, true navy so i'm just painting the middle part of the door hanging sign Once that was dry, I just like to use a hair dryer so it dries a lot faster, peeling the tape back, and then I'm gonna be using these newer rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. I love the color, so it has like a navy, a green, like a pink color. They are so pretty, and I just trimmed it down so it would fit on the bottom of this sign, and then I'm going to go back in with the top. So I did have to cut this a few times, and it may not be completely perfect in some spots because I tried to line up where I cut as best as possible, but sometimes that doesn't always work. But I love using transfers. You can use this for so many different things, and honestly, if I would do a video on everything I've ever used transfers on, this video probably would have been like 10 hours long. I've used these since they came out at the Dollar Tree and I am obsessed with them. you've never used them before or you have tried them and they did not work out in your favor, keep trying. I just use a little crafter stick. This is a nicer one that came with different transfers that I purchased off of Amazon, but it works great. These silkscreen transfers are from Dixie Bell as well. It's like a bells and whistles section they have on their website. And I've used these before on my channel, but I... I love these transfers. They clean up so well. They look so good. And then I'm just going to be using the bright white chalk paste by Chalk Couture. And then all you have to do is when you're finished with this, they are reusable. All you have to do is I run them under my sprayer in my kitchen sink with warm-ish to hot water and then wipe them down and they look almost brand new. But I love this. Fresh from the farm, fresh eggs, premium quality. And then I just use one of those bead garlands from Dollar Tree to hang this up. idea is you can make some fun coasters. So I picked these little squares up. These are from Michael's, uh, but I know that Dollar Tree does have some thicker wood pieces every now and then that are shaped in squares. So if you're not going to want to go to Michael's, but I think these were only 49 cents. Those are very inexpensive. And I did end up using two ish packs of these transfers. And then if you just add a couple coats of Mod Podge, you are ready to use them as actual coasters.
love the galvanized pieces from Dollar Tree and I love this mason jar. I've used a few of these. If you don't like the galvanized, you can just paint them. So never steer away from the galvanized pieces if it's not your type of color or you know, it's not your cup of tea. You could definitely just paint this. I love the black rub-on transfers with any galvanized. So I'm just using this one. This was off of I want to say this one was also from Dixie Bell. They have furniture transfers as well. I've used so many in my videos. This was one of the very last ones I had. I do have a horse still. It's large. I'm not sure what to do with it, uh, but I just love using these all sorts. It doesn't have to just be from the Dollar Tree. It can be from absolutely anywhere. I love checking Amazon for furniture transfers. If you type in furniture, rub on transfers, you will find a ton. You will get you will fall down a rabbit hole looking for all these. So just to top this off, I just ended up wrapping some twine around the top and adding a little gingham bow. few are super easy. So this is the little wood square I was talking about. And then I'm just going to be using this rub on transfer. This one was also from Dixie Bell. So I did lie when I said that was my very last one. These were the two leftover ones I had plus that horse. So I promise you probably won't be using these in any more videos unless I decide to do a fun little compilation. Let me know in the comments below if you guys actually like those. Um, so I would just put a ton of different ideas into one. Hopefully it wouldn't be an hour or two long. And then uh, anyway, so I decided to leave the wood as is. I just really like this just plain wood. I don't need to paint everything, although, you know, I kind of like to. Uh, and then I am just wrapping some twine around the edges. I wanted some new tear tray decor. So that is all I'm doing here is just tying some twine around the edges. And that is it. I threw it in my tear tray. I love it. And this only cost a little over $1. Next ones, I'm using these wood pieces from Michaels. Michaels always has 49 cent wood, small wood pieces. So this pig transfer, this is off of Amazon and it's by Reprima Design, something like that. Redesign, Prima, Prima. Anyways, link them below for you guys if you want to check them out. But I just found them on Amazon. You can find it on Etsy. Uh, I just go for wherever is cheaper and whatever is going to come soon. So definitely when you are purchasing items like this on Amazon, check to see where it's going to be shipped at because you never know if it's going to take months and months to receive. This one is also from the same company and I will link it for you guys as well. I picked up like three different types of rub-on transfers from Amazon, maybe more, but they had like pigs and chickens and sheep and they also have a cow one as well. Uh, if you guys are not new to my channel, you've probably seen me use them plenty of times, but I love this little milk farm. It didn't fit completely onto this, so I did cut it so it would all completely fit. And I'm just adding these two to my tear tray as well. very last one, I'm going to be using this rub-on transfer. I've used this a few times. It has some pumpkin stuff. It kind of gives me more fall vibes than anything, but also farmer, farm fresh, all the things. I love the little Highland cow or the Longhorn cow. I'm not really sure exactly which one it is, but I think this is so cute. So I actually just took one whole transfer. So I've used the whole sheet of rub-on transfer, cut it in half, and I just added uh, one side to each of this little galvanized bucket, which is also from the Dollar Tree. And then just to add a little color into this, I just threw in some fun lavender floral from Walmart. For you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more rub on transfer ideas, let me know in the comments below. But that's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.